So I need, well I don't need to get up in the more early in the morning, in fact I can leave whenever the hell I want, but I want to get up in the morning and someone just messaged me possibly in regards to the vacation I'm taking in tomorrow till Sunday tomorrow being Thursday doubt anything is going to come of it because they she works a lot plus she has two kids she's a single mom but She's a person I knew since I was 12, 12 to 13 may give or take, definitely below 13, or definitely not above 13 I should say. Light up my pipe. It's actually funny that she popped up because I'd like to ask her a question. Is that I would really like the answer to. Because she's a female friend and my question is about woman. Why the hell are they so suddenly interested in me? No, obviously I don't get a lot of women interested in me, but you already got to bear in mind also I'm having some barefaced whiskey. I'm about to head to bed, so figured I'd dull the senses a little bit. Well, not really enough, not nearly enough to affect me, but it used to be that pretty much no woman wanted me. No, that was probably because I was, you know... Actually, no. Because I've been looking through some old photos. Um, when I was young... I was fat. When I sort of got older, it's because of, you know, working a steady job and not eating what mama made for me. I lost a bunch of weight and started kind of looking good, but even during those times, no woman wanted me. Then my mom had a heart attack. I had to take care of her. We ended up moving into my uncle's house, which is pretty much a ranch house in the middle of nowhere. The town has more cows than people, pretty much. And I got really big. Yet it was oddly when I was really big when I that's the love of my life. Unfortunately, she died of cancer, but don't say you're sorry in the comments because I'm not. I am glad to have had her. But anyways, I've lost a little bit of weight, which is hard to tell in this frumpy thing, but I'm not near. I am I was almost twice the amount I am now. Yeah. 
back when I was really morbidly obese, but <coughs> there has been some women who have been um less than subtle. I don't get it. Because I wasn't always fat when I was young. There was a brief period of time where I was a relatively decent looking guy. In fact, all things considered, my beard was trimmed, my hair was cut, and was better looking back then than I am right now. And yet, I was undesirable. But, now, Now I'm getting some women that, as I said, they're, they're significantly less than subtle, like they're... I've had to block a few numbers because acquaintances of mine who do not know any better have better yet, have not known any better, have handed out my number. I don't date. Reason being, I just really don't want to. I enjoy being alone. I wasn't always like this. You gotta bear in mind there was a long period of time where I was literally the lowest of the low. Like, nobody wanted to be seen being around me. And now, now they want me and I don't want them. Oh, the irony. But anyways, I'm getting off topic back to woman. As I say, pretty much no woman wanted me and now I am getting a lot of women who do and I don't understand it I don't like it I want to know what the hell is going on Because, as I said, Bandit, yes, that is her real name. I don't know why her parents named her that, but that was her real name. No one can replace her. And I really don't feel like replacing her either, you know? But now as these women want me, these women want to have fun with me. I've given up that as well because frankly I don't need sex. I never really have. And I've pretty much proven it because back when I really wanted sex, I wasn't getting any. So yeah. Definitely don't need sex. But now I have women who 
want to do that, and I have no interest in them whatsoever. Like, what the fuck is going on, you know? Is it because of the way dating is now, where everything's, everything's done online, or on an app where it's pretty much you go through all this of people, no, 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 maybe, no, no, maybe, maybe, yes, no, no. Because obviously I don't use dating apps, I can, um, the only one I'm aware of is Tinder, and I will never use that. But because of these dating apps, do because I guarantee you guys use the same way because I know guys who do this. But is it feud sort of like a buffet? Like, uh, I'll take a little of this person, I'll take a little of that person, I'll take a little of that one, that one, that one. No, don't want that, don't want that, that looks good, I'll take a little bit of that, is that what's, is this is what's going on? Because if so... Small pipe bowl. That's just repulsive to me. I don't want to be viewed as a bite. And I have not a coffee ground. Yeah, it is. Use this to make coffee and sometimes the grounds get in, but like, I don't want to be viewed as a bite or a nibble and I will never view women in the same way. <coughs> even when I wanted a woman, even when I wanted sex, I never viewed them as a nibble or a bite or as a commodity. But no, that, that seems to be the way things are. That's It's starting to affect me and annoy me because, again, I cannot stress this enough. I am done. I'm not looking for anyone anymore. I'm not looking for dating. I'm not looking for a fling. I am done. So, part of me is a little bit, like, where were these women back when I cared? And I'm of, another part of me is going, back when I cared, will I even want these women? Because I know what they want, and it's just a flank. Yeah. <laughs> I know, eh? I've never been interested yeah. in yeah. just a flank. Maybe. 
so why are these women interested in having a fling with me now when I was possibly even better looking, say... six to eight years ago. And they didn't want me then. The only thing I can think of yeah. is the sort of buffet I hear ya. that is dating now. Yeah. If you can even call it dating. Because I'm not looking for a friends with benefits. I'm not looking for a fuck buddy. Never was. Right now, I'm not looking for anyone at all. And I really don't see myself looking for anybody at all. No, that, that's how it is away. I'll just try and move on to something more positive. Um, in my previous videos, I've mentioned that the place that should have hired me has not, so I'm looking for a different place. I went down to apply for a job today and found out during the process, the process, that it just pretty much seemed uh, complete and utter rip-off job, so I'm not going to take it. I don't have to like my job. I just have to not hate it. Because I have worked for too many jobs for yeah. far too long where I'd be taking my car to work and just praying. Let me get hit by a bus. Let me get hit by a train. I don't even care if I die. I just don't want to show up to work. I feel like I can be picky now. I want a job. I don't necessarily need one. So I can, I feel that even though we're in a beginning of a mini recession, I don't see it being a Phone blown yeah. recession yeah. quite yet because now, it's due to what's going on in <laughs> mostly China with it being on lockdown with the coronavirus and we have a trade deficit with China. Most of our goods come from China, so that's why shares are and stocks are plummeting. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> And the combination of the upcoming American election, pretty much what's going on with American politics. And I can see it going down no matter who wins. Especially if a Democrat wins, which pains me to say because I don't want Trump. And I don't want to say anything good about him, if for no other reason than as far as, you know, the economy goes. I judge the economy based on how... I shouldn't say people like me because I own stock, but... 
like so middle class and lower are doing, like how much money are they earning, how stable are they in their jobs, how many jobs are they working. But in regards to how the economy is judged, Trump is seen as a positive. And usually when a liberal gets in charge, you know, there's more potential for the economy to tank. Though again, I can see it but going both ways. No matter who gets in charge, but if Bern if Sanders gets in charge, I can see the economy tanking for sure. But I think Biden is sort of on a steamroll, and let's be honest, once someone has that momentum, even when a person who wanted somebody else was originally going to vote for, say, someone like Sanders, they're more inclined to vote for the person with momentum, like Biden, because they think Biden's going to win. Or the person with momentum is going to win. <coughs> but anyways, I um, I'm not going to take the job that I had today, but I did sort of apply for a warehouse position today and I held an appointment Monday afternoon to sort of see if I can get it or not. They said days, afternoons, or Day, well, days, evenings, or nights, but evenings being more your work in the afternoon, you know, get off at, say, 11 or midnight, so both afternoons, evenings, and night. I'm interested in the afternoon and night shift. I don't want to work days and days, said the um, shifts don't rotate. Which for someone like me is a benefit because I don't want to work rotating shifts. And it's also a benefit for me because I want to work the afternoons, I want to work the nights, I don't want to work days and most people want to work days, so. It gives me more of a position to gets a job, not necessarily keep the job, but gets a job, because I want to work the sort of non-desirable shifts. Those non-desirable shifts are desirable for me. The desirable shifts are not desirable for me at all. It's a warehouse position, so a lot of, you know, obviously I'm not going to be driving a forklift or tow motor unless, of course, they want to train me because I don't have my certificate. But a lot of pallet moving with a pump truck, a lot of Moving stuff, a lot of organizing stuff, loading trucks, unloading trucks, palletizing, I'm assuming wrapping skids, they mentioned counting stock and weighing goods with me being a high functioning autistic and we're pretty much seeing the world in numbers. That's a great benefit for me.
out of whiskey now. So yeah, we'll see what this job is. Its location, of course, I imagine it's in it's the industrial area of Stony Creek, which I know well enough because the job that was supposed to hire me is in that area. I can see, as they said, eight hour days, 40 hours a week. The job I applied for today said we don't know how long the hours are going to be. We don't know what days of the week you're going to work. So I imagine a lot of 10 to 12 hour days, which, you know, I don't mind working 10 to 10 and a half hour days if they don't pay you for lunch. So long as I only work four days a week. 12 hour shifts is a no. Absolutely not. <clears throat> I'm not wasting over half my day at work because it's not just a matter of working the 12 hours. It's a matter of getting up and having your coffee, having your breakfast, getting a shower, brushing your teeth, going to work, working the 12 hours, going back to work and pretty much immediately going to bed. I will never do a 12 hour shift that a 12 hour shift that deals. I know that falls under the deal breaker for me. I will do voluntary overtime on say a Saturday, but I won't do forced overtime. The one place I worked here, yeah. it was called Karma Candy, and if you live in Hamilton, you probably yeah. know the area because it's notorious for being a rip-off place to work. You work eight hours a day, but say, take a half hour off for lunch, so you're only work earning seven and a half hours a day of which works out to about 37 and a half hours per paycheck, not 40. And it's rotating shifts, days, afternoons, and nights. Now, as a temp, you don't have to work overtime if you don't want to, but if your works are full time, every week you're on morning shift you're required to work saturday and they pay overtime after 44 hours you're earning seven and a half hours being there eight hours a day that's 37 and 37 and a half hours per week they pay overtime after 44 hours. You're only earning another seven and a half hours of a 37 and a half hour work week. So yeah, you're getting more money, but then again, you're getting less money than you should work in there full time. But you're only getting paid one hour of overtime. And it's time and a half. But then again, considering it's only one hour of overtime, overtime after 44 hours, 
unless it was 10 hours or times 10, it's a ripoff. So I will gladly work voluntary overtime. Chances are I'm going to say no anyways. Because I, I work, so I don't have to. I honestly value my time more than I value my money. So, chances are they ask you, I want to work Saturday. Saturday's my day, Sunday's my day. I'm going to say, you know, it's the only time I've, I've ever worked consistent overtime when I was working at Savage Arms, but that was 10 hour days, four days a week. You work overtime Friday, it's only an eight hour day, but I already got my two day weekend. Like pretty much every weekend was a long weekend, three day weekend. So what the hell? I'll gladly give up my Friday for overtime if it means more money I already get my two day weekend. Yeah. But we'll see how this place works out. I am keeping my fingers crossed but I'm not holding my breath. Saying that, I do have the experience, I have the know-how, I feel like I can excel at the job even with my shoulder being the way this is because, I mean, I can lift it up this way somewhat. But I can't lift it up this way. Yeah. But I feel as though I can excel at the job. Yeah. 